Hello, my name's um, Fiona Gilbert and I'd like to propose the um, Student Exper Experience Seed Fund. So, what is the Student Experience Fe Seed Fund? Well, it's a mechanism by which teams of staff and potentially students can can initiate innovative projects which enhance a student experience. When I say student experience, I mean any aspect of the student experience. It could be an academic experience or it could be transactional experience. Now, it's called a seed fund because the aim is to fund the seed of an idea, to germinate an idea, to trial an idea, and then to seed it as widely as possible. Now, of course, some will germinate and some won't, but a lot of people, at least when have been engaged, are motivated by the process. Why am I proposing um, a student experience seed fund? Um, well, I feel that if you have an idea for an innovative project which could enhance a student experience, and this is out with your workload remit, um, there's no alternative means of funding. So the project can't progress or it can't even begin. There used to be a fund through um, BSNES, but that was to fund, I think, whole projects and often individual projects. But the seed fund I'm proposing is very different as it only funds the start of the project with the aim of seeking further funding or ways to let the project grow afterwards. Okay, now the next question is, who can bid for a student experience seed fund? Who can bid for a student experience seed fund? Well, the bids would be open to teams of staff, preferably across roles and ideally including students. How does the seed fund work? How does the seed fund work? Well, um, it's the funding criteria, there's, sorry, there's certain criteria for the funding. I'll give you some examples of these. So for example, um, it has to be out, the project has to be out with your normal workload duties. Um, the project has to have deliverables, have to show um, impact on the student experience. Um, and it also has to show how teams plan to, de to develop the project, how they can move the project forward after the initial stage. Um, now, the decision-making process is made by a panel, and there's a criteria feedback sheet, and the bids which have fulfilled most of the criteria, or indeed all of the criteria, would get funded. It's a competitive process. Funds can be used for numerous things, so for example, workload buyout, buying and expertise, technical support, and so on. So the question is, would it work? Would it work? Well, yes. <laughs> because last year I piloted this in OBI. Um, eight bids were put forward and two pilots were funded. So, although the other six bids, bids didn't meet the criteria, they were deemed as having potential, so other means of moving them forward was looked into. Of course, there are a few things that we need to consider. Um, for example, um, Funding, that's the biggest one to consider. Um, but the funds will be quite small because it's only a seed fund. Um, projects not meeting the criteria, that's another issue to consider. Um, project And projects eventually not moving forward is something that um, could be considered as well. However, I think that um, going through the process means that we still develop and learn something from it. Um, another thing to consider is how to grow the project, how to grow the project after the seeding, across programme, across faculty, or would you seek external funding, and so, so on. Okay, let's just look at um, why I'm proposing the Student Experience Seed Fund again. Um, well, I think the most important reason is that the project outcomes can enhance a student experience. I think the process fosters staff engagement, it motivates staff, and also student engagement if they're in the teams. Um, I think the project allows space for innovation, which is something that Lindsay Williams brought up in her pitch. Um, also, it brings teams together, so it's an inclusive pro process. And if the projects germinate and grow, um, then teams or faculties or programmes or even Brooks can enhance reputation. So, Thank you for listening to my bid for the Student Experience Seed Fund. And if you'd like any information about the pilot, um, please contact me. Thank you.